Abyssals bringing us a RGB mechanical keyboard. If you like white things like this white build 2020, or even you just like LEDs and you like compact keyboards, this one may be for you. It is gorgeous. Mechanical keys, so great for gaming. It's wireless Bluetooth if you don't want to run a wire. You can also run the wire, USB type C. Here it is with the unboxing, as I showed you, all white keys here, but underneath are programmable LEDs that can make any color you wish. And it's a really nice keyboard. What I wanna show you is just how quiet these keys actually are. I think the people that are gonna want this are the ones that like the compact gaming build. If you're an Apple user, I feel like this would be great with the Apple device. And uh, as you see here, the build quality is really good. I'll show you in a second, I've, I've ordered this, these products before and um, this one I did get free for review, but I am so far very well pleased. So in the unboxing experience, you do get little uh, legs here that are uh, magnetic. So if you wanna add a little height to it, it, does come with those as well. There's a coating on top of these keys to make them wear less and also easier to clean with grime. You do get this little, uh, I wanna say it's faux leather uh, keyboard pad to protect your palms. And what we're gonna see lately, they give you a little thank you letter for ordering, pretty nice. Um, you do get a USB type C six foot cable in there and uh, 19 plus dynamic backlit uh, settings. And then within the settings, you can change them. So here you can see it has the keys already set up for a Mac or it gives you the three extra keys here on the bottom of your screen to go ahead and substitute in. There's the two the little 3M uh, you know, stickers here. I think it's for the, the pad to keep the pad in place. Um, and then you also get a dust cloth and then there's that USB ca uh, cable with a um, little zip tie style thing. You can pop up the keys. You can see here these are blue switches, but they're not as clicky as normal blue switches. I think these are like a hybrid switch. Um, you're going to see some gameplay in a little bit and let's go ahead and see what these keys sound like. So as I mentioned before, I have used their products before. I'm rocking their 15.6 inch portable monitor. It's still going strong. I use it when I wanna use my uh, my rowing machine. I hook my phone up to this monitor or if I'm gaming on the go. And so I've been quite happy with some of the other products they have to sell. And so this being a Chinese vendor, you know, you always wanna just make sure you're getting a decent product. You know, I do think there's some really good stuff coming out of China and there's also some not so good stuff. So knowing that I've tried some of their other products and they're holding up well, you can rest assured. Now let's go ahead and check all these settings. What I'm doing here is I'm pressing the FN key and home. And what that does is it switches between the different uh, 19 different modes. You can also adjust the brightness by hitting the up and down key with FN of the actual LEDs, how bright you want them. And then within each of these modes, you can then press the, uh, the key below home, I think it's end, and it will actually change the color of this particular mode. So this mode, see how it's kind of rainbow? I can make it rainbow with just blue. I can make it rainbow with just green. And you're gonna see this as I go through the different modes here. This is gonna take a little bit of time, so enjoy the fireworks.
as I mentioned, this was a compact keyboard. If you like this aesthetic, it is beautiful to say the least. Personally, I like a number pad, so I don't know if this is gonna be my primary driver, but I love that it's Bluetooth. I can hook it up to my phone. I can hook it up to a tablet, um, up to five devices. I do think the marketing is good here with the, the coding on the keys. The actual mechanical switches are very responsive. Um, it being USB type C is, is, is future proofing it. It's very quiet as you heard compared to uh, many other mechanical keyboards out there. And so I, I like it. I just wish it had a number pad. And if you don't like the compact design, you know, it might not be for you, but everything else, it checks those boxes. It's really delivering quite a powerful keyboard and you can save some dollars going, uh, in going with this instead of like a Corsair or a Logitech or something else. That's what I think. Let me know y'all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.